In this video, I'm looking at the different types of fibroids. Fibroids are given different names depending on where in the uterus they grow. The five types are intramural, subserosal, pendunculated, submucosal, and cervical. This is what the uterus would look like when there's no fibroids present. This is an image of a uterus with several different types of fibroids present. First up is intramural fibroids and these fibroids develop within the wall of the uterus. They are actually the most popular types of fibroids that affect women. These fibroids can grow so large um, that they actually distort the size of the uterus. Particular symptoms associated with these types of fibroids include pain and pressure in the pelvic region and also prolonged and heavy periods. From the diagram, you can see where intramural fibroids are usually located. Second is the subserosal. These fibroids grow on the outside of the uterine walls. These fibroids can sometimes press on the bladder, which causes urinary difficulties. These fibroids can cause backaches, and this happens when the fibroid bulges from the back of the uterus and presses on the spinal nerves. In the diagram, you can see an example of the subserosal fibroids. Third, pendunculated fibroids. These grow on small stalks inside or outside of the uterus. From this diagram, you can see an example of the pendunculated fibroid. As we can see from the diagram, a pendunculated fibroid could be a subserosal or a submucosal fibroid that has grown on a stalk. For submucosal, these fibroids grow just underneath the lining of the uterus. These fibroids are also associated with long, heavy periods. They can also cause problems for women who are trying to get pregnant. From the diagram, you can see an example of the submucosal fibroid. Five, cervical. Cervical fibroids occur or develop in the cervical tissue. Incidences of these, however, are quite rare. From the diagram, we could see where a cervical fibroid would likely develop. In this diagram, you could see what a normal uterus would look like in comparison to a uterus that is filled with many different types of fibroids. The best way to approach healing yourself is the natural way through diet, herbs, and a change in eating lifestyle. Check out my other videos on fibroids. You can get rid of those awful symptoms associated with fibroids, shrink, or totally get rid of them using natural methods. I hope you found this useful. Subscribe to my channel, like, and share my videos. Don't forget, be the change you'd like to see in this world. Have a fantabulous day today. Ta-ta!